College is a community college that is part of the Dallas County Community College District. Um, we're the largest of the seven colleges in the district. And we have over 20,000 students, and we pride ourselves on being the first community college to win the Baldrige Excellence Award. We're very proud um, of our community, and we're very proud that Richland's campus um, looks like the world and also shows the diversity that exists in Dallas. As an African American, I'm always championing causes for African American student um, development and leadership and academics, the classroom retention, um, and even employability. Our Asian populations deserve that same level of commitment, that same level of what I consider to be um, equitable opportunities on our college campuses and in our, in our communities. So many times um, people perceive that Asian students don't have a need. There are studies in sociology that talk about the model minority and how Asians are perceived as not needing any academic assistance, any type of support because they're the brilliant students, you know. They're the students who are at the top of their classes academically. What that has done is it's allowed um, colleges and universities to not see the other needs that Asian students may have. A lot of the students come in and ask us, you know, are there any scholarships, you know, or how, how can I pay for school? Um, and then the other big needs is English. A lot of our students are immigrant students, so um, they're coming here without any English skills or they're first generation, and so they don't have um, parents that went to school and know the school system. I never have received a scholarship in my whole life. It was my first time, and I didn't know how to describe that. It was amazing. This is my first scholarship, and when I told my parents, they don't believe in it. They kept asking me whether it was true, because nobody can do anything like this for it in Vietnam. I used to think that my skills were not good enough to qualify me for the scholarship, but my advisor encouraged me a lot. I did, and I got it, and now I believe that if I put my effort in what I'm doing, I can achieve it. Richland applied for an Anapesi grant um, to support uh, student success for our Asian American and Pacific Islander students. And one of the commitments in that grant was to host a four-year convening that would be dedicated to providing opportunities for colleges, in particular community colleges and universities across the state and in the region to come together and move from talking about just best practices to talking about the research that they are currently conducting and engaged in on their campus. Just to have a place where people in similar industry, similar field can come and share um, what they've done, um, how they can help each other, but also share data um, and what kind of information they're receiving and how that kind of information can translate to how we help our students. What's coming up in the research is the fact that many of our minority serving institutions, they have programs and initiatives they hear students saying how successful those programs are and how impactful they've been to their lives, but we haven't necessarily been able to see the data. We haven't been able to see um, a significant impact based on the numbers versus the narratives that we hear. We are here to try to help institutions to put the numbers with the narratives is what I like to say. And so one of the trends we're seeing is a lot of mentoring programs, a lot of STEM programs, a lot of summer bridge programs, um, they collect data, they being institutions, on the numbers, um, but not necessarily in terms of the impact. So we're seeing a trend in that the programs exist, the programs start, but the finish. You know, where's the, where's the implementation? Is anybody tracking the implementation? And then what is happening at the end of those programs in terms of the data? And how is it being used to either improve those programs or to make those programs scalable um, or to replicate those programs at other colleges? One of the big things that we focus on is a summer bridge boot camp. Um, and so that is a free course for our AAPI students. 
Um, they're able to join the course um, as long as they need help with either English um, or math or if they're new to college and they don't have experience with college classes, um, we have a college readiness course. Um, and then one of my favorite things that we do in the program is a leadership course. It's a great way for students to open up about the idea of leadership because I know maybe um, a lot of time Asian students are more shy and more reserved um, and they don't think they can take a leadership role. Um, but this course, um, like one of our students mentioned, she really enjoyed it and she didn't feel like she could be in a leadership role, but now she feels like she has more confidence to do so. When I transferred from uh, ESL classes to college level, they, they invite me to the Anna PC uh, Sumo boot camp right here. They also have the leadership program that I, I joined last semester, and I get some more relationships over there. It was so fun. And the best thing is they all free for our students right here. I think Richland College's commitment to our Asian community um, can set an example um, across the district uh, for helping other colleges to not um, see the numbers of their Asian student populations as determining whether or not they provide resources and or programs or services to students. I would certainly want to see more NAPZs um, locally and nationally because we're the only NAPZ in Texas. Um, and so when students get here, they have no clue what's going on, what it is, and they've never heard about it, so they're a little bit iffy. Um, but I mean, if, I mean, if they have an NAPZ at Richland and then they transfer to UTD and there's an NAPZ there, um, that's just a better transition. They know that there's some, somewhere they can go. And so I would definitely want to see it expand to other community colleges and universities. If it becomes a staple in the community, um, then they know that you know, it's there and they can use it instead of um, turning away from resources because they've never heard about it before. Mm -hmm.